Tracy Campbell. Let's hear it for Tracy Campbell. She's coming right to the stage. Tracy Campbell, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. <laughs> As if it wasn't terrifying enough knowing that I had to come here tonight and do stand-up for the first time ever. I also had, thank you for that chuckle. I also had jury duty this morning, yay! And I was in panic because I didn't know when I was gonna practice my stuff. Uh, but then I looked around and I realized I kind of had a captive audience. So I thought <laughs> I would stand up in the middle of voir dire and say to the judge in my best law and order attorney voice, your Honor, if it pleases the court, I'd like to test run a Nazi joke. <laughs> it did not please the court. <laughs> Moving along. Um, I work for a tech company, which means a lot of my coworkers are hipster millennial types. No offense. <laughs> I don't really know what the difference is between a hipster and a millennial, but I do know that they both come from foreign planets, and I don't get their customs, I don't get their language. It's really hard for me sometimes to resist saying, hello, do you use Google Docs? So I thought I would do a little sociologic overview of some of the behavior that I've witnessed working with this demographic. And the first thing I noticed is how much hipsters love taking pictures of their food. <laughs> I too eat lunch. I've eaten lunch every day. <laughs> For 45 years. And the only time I've ever taken pictures of my food is when I need someone to confirm that I'm eating blue cheese, not mold, that I'm not about to die. <laughs> But I will walk by my coworkers' desks and I'll see them with these really high-tech micro photo shoots set up. They'll have like a mini tripod and a mini one of those little umbrella thingies and a mini backdrop. And they'll be saying shit like, that's it, baby. Work it, work it. Make love to the camera. And I look around like, all right, there must be a shrunken supermodel here or we're doing a Smurf catalog that I don't know about. No, they're taking Instagram pictures of a fucking apple. So they can hashtag it with stuff like, eat clean and $8 honey crisp. <laughs> hashtag blarf. <laughs> I don't get the food that they're passionate about. I was in the kitchen the other day and I heard this exact conversation. Oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. Really? What is it? It's just plain brown rice. It has no flavor whatsoever, but it's the best thing I ever ate. Oh my god. Did I have a stroke or do you two idiots have something really hot in your mouth? Because I can't understand anything you're saying right now. <laughs> I saw another hipster come in drinking something that looked like a mix of baby formula and baby crap. I know, it's hard to tell the difference. But I had to ask him what the hell it was. And he told me he was doing a Soylent cleanse. Why was he doing a Soylent cleanse? Well, I'm preparing my body for the coming new world order when the food supply is... <laughs> supply has been depleted and we have no choice but to live on this. Plus it's really big in the tech industry. It's good to know. Um, then he offered me a coupon for 30% off in case I wanted to buy my own supply of this appetizing looking beverage. But I said no thanks. If I drink that I'm gonna soil up my pants. <laughs> Uh, they're also really passionate about their causes. Um, Soylent guy busted me the other day for using plastic. I was just sitting at my desk minding my own business and he came up to me and he was like, you know, we have real silverware on the back of the office. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but then I have to walk to the back of the office and I don't have that many good years left. <laughs> and he's like, but don't you care about the environment? And I was like, nah, not really, no. Uh, but don't you know that every time you use a 
spark you're like helping to slaughter an innocent wombat? <laughs> Are you telling me that the dinosaurs died out because some T-Rex didn't recycle a Diet Coke can? <laughs> Then there's the milk thing. Um, I'm old, so I use cream in my coffee. That's how I was raised. So. <laughs> Normal cow byproduct. But I'm shamed for this because uh, apparently uh, only nut milk is acceptable to hipsters. How do you get milk out of a nut? Has, <laughs> have you ever seen a baby sucking the tit of an almond? <laughs> Have you ever seen an udder on a macadamia nut? I don't know, I think this is lactose intolerance. I rest my case, Your Honor. Thank you. Tracy Campbell. Shout out to Nut Milk. <laughs>